Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler Arias, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. This video, we're going to be talking about my first pink diamond Cayo Perico heist of GTA Expanded and Enhanced. All right. Uh, as you guys know, you know, it's usually the tequilas, maybe a ruby, maybe some bear bonds, but we finally got the pink diamond. And we got it knocked out with the Cayo Perico heist. We got a great time as well. Let me know in the comments down below what time do you think I got on the heist. All right. Pretty good time. So going to give you guys a quick little rundown how I do this. Most of you know, you know, how I get the Cayo Perico heist done, how we knock this out. Uh, long fin is the, is the meta approach vehicle. Infiltration point. On this one, it's the uh, main dock. The secondary loot was not that good. I only had one cocoa, but I did have a painting in the office, so I went with that route. Um, you know, so don't worry about how you exit out. Use the aggressor uh, weapon loadout kit. Uh, I, I still put the suppressors on, even though you don't need to have them. Some people say I just don't like to chance it because it's not a consistent thing. And uh, it ended up being a, a, a rainy day in the Cayo Perico heist. And if you guys don't know, the rain does kind of help obscure or kind of help, um, you know, diminish the guards, uh, like their, their field of sight or their field of vision or whatever. But it really doesn't matter, rain, snow, or shine, we're going to be getting it done, knocking it out, and taking El Rubio for what he's worth, all right? Before we go any further, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out any future content, money-making guides, and just some, you know, good old times, some live stream stuff like that, all right? So, we spawned into the main dock. We took a, uh, a left over here going towards the airport. That's why I use the long fin, because I always go and get my secondary loot first. I always go for the Elite no matter what. I usually and typically go for uh, the Coco if I can find it on the island, if, you know, if it's there. I always try and max my my amount of uh, money or whatnot. But this the secondary loot was not that good. But again, I use a long fin because wherever my secondary loot is, I can go there with the long fin and just go right back to the compound. And I still enter in through the drainage tunnel. I mean, that's still going to be the meta right there. All right, we take this dude out right here. We had Coco on the table. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, get this uh, picked up real fast. Again, I would typically go for whatever gives me the most money. If I had, like, some ganja laying around in here, I would have grabbed that. But I just haven't done the uh, – I haven't grabbed the painting in a long time. And I was doing this on live stream. I was like, guys, let's, on the chat, let's just go ahead and get the painting. We haven't done that in forever. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the painting and get that knocked out. And if you want to know – what all the secondary loot is worth and how much space it fills up in your bag. I will have that video in the description down below to be linked. All right, it's my secondary loot video. Most of you should know what it is already by now, though. Uh, so, but the the Coco is the best loot if you're a solo player. And you know, if you got friends with you, you can get gold in the compound. But gold has been hard to come by as well. All right, and uh, the Coco fills up 50% of your bag. I got hung up on this uh, tree right here. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I think I was trying to avoid the cone of vision for that one guard. But that's uh, all good. I'm trying to get out of here to go through the bushes. <laughs> but yeah, Coco is the best if you're not getting the gold for the solo player. And uh, it fills up 50% of the bag. And then the painting will fill up the other half. It's 50% as well. And the only thing that's more rare than the pink diamond in the Cayo Perico Heist is getting two paintings in El Rubio's office. If you ever get two paintings in El Rubio's office, that is a great opportunity for you to do kind of like a speed run and find out how fast you can get the actual heist completed. Because then it's not really about the money. You know, the two paintings will fill up your loot bag. You're right there in the compound and you can save a lot of time. It's kind of a cool little thing right there. I don't know why Rockstar doesn't, you know, change the frequency of these up a little bit more and kind of, you know, spice it up and give us some more paintings in the office or some more cocoa out there around the island. But I guess you're getting paid pretty much, uh, you know, the best anyways. We argue getting the tequila bottle, right, the Sensamito, but uh, it's still going to be like 1.4 million when you walk out of here with the Elite Challenge. All right, so as you see right here, just go back around the island with the boat. Loot bag is halfway filled up. Again, we'll be maxing out the loot bag in El Rubio's office with the painting. Right, we swim down here to the actual uh, drainage tunnel. And i uh, going to use that blowtorch, <laughs> the plasma torch. I'm pretty cool. I try and be as quick as I can right here. I was a little rusty on this one, though. You just really need to kind of, you know, be on the bar for just a split second with the actual torch. And you can kind of go on to the next. All you have to do is kind of just like, you know, flick your joystick and you're good to go. 
that was a little rough though. Make sure you pop an air breather on or a rebreather or whatever, just to be, you know make sure you don't drown while you're down there. Run out of breath. Swim out through. And the the heist is so much. Oh, it's so clean. It's so nice with the next gen uh, edition of GTA 5 Online with the expanded and enhanced. You know, with the next gen. I guess you could say current gen console now, right? Uh, and the next gen edition of GTA 5 with the 60 FPS. So nice. So clean. So smooth. All right, we're climbing up in the ladder. Now, one thing that uh, we have noticed doing the heist, I think it's because the frames, I think because you have 60 FPS now, uh, but the guards, it's not that they have a different route, it's that their timing is off. They, they move around a little bit quicker, I think. Uh, for example, you know, I've run this route a, a thousand times, okay? Uh, and the guard up here, he usually stays in his standing position a little bit longer. But now he tends to walk away from me a little bit quicker. So he's not standing still. As, as So I think it just has to do with, because, you know, the more frames per second, the more information gets processed. So I'm thinking maybe it's just a timing thing. The way I run the Cayo Perico heist, I mean, it's 99% the same. And like I said, it's just that one guard that doesn't stand as still as he used to he just kind of moves a little bit quicker but it's really no big deal all right don't forget to uh get the money out of the safe right there yeah grab that that was a good little take and you can get that before you get your uh painting it won't mess up like uh you know how much you can carry in your bag so you're fine cutting the painting right here and this would now max out my bag so now i'm eligible for the elite challenge there we go Loot bag is filled up. It's now the the white bar turns to a green bar. And we're going to go back at the same way we came in. going to jump to the ledge right here. Again, pay attention to the guards. Every now and again, you know, just depending on how fast you're going through with this, the one guard will kind of be turning and walking around right there. So you don't want to jump out because he'll see you. But after he turns, you're good to go. Just jump. Smack your face on the, uh, on the concrete. Get up. And now we're going to get the primary target. And like I said, this is, you know, the way I run the heist. Run the heist however you want to. If it works for you, it works for you. But this is, you know, the best way that I've found. Uh, and this is a route that I think a lot of people have uh, decided to take as well. A lot of folks are like, what's the best uh, approach vehicle? And again, you know, I've said it a million times, long fin is the way to go. It allows you to go all the way around the map. Um, it's better than the other boat. The other boat is way too slow. And the prep or the setup mission for it is ridiculous. So... The long fin prep mission is, is awesome. I love it. It's fast. It's quick. It's a lot of fun. It's very easy. Go through the uh, fingerprint little clone hack thing, whatever. Get that knocked out. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys, who's still struggling with the Cayo Perico heist? Who's still having trouble getting the elite challenge? Let me know in the comments, all right? And again, let me know what the time is. What do you think my time is that I, I actually made on this? I was actually impressed. Pretty good little time. Not bad. It's not my fastest time. But it's pretty good. All right. Cutting through. Look at that big old pink diamond. God, looks good. Yes, sir. Thing's like a thousand carat diamond. Thing is huge. All right, we're cutting through. Get that knocked out. Grab that bad boy. Bam! Look at that money go up. One point nine million. One million nine hundred two thousand six forty. Now that's not what we'll be getting. We have to, you know, pay our cut a little bit here. But it's still really good take. All right, jump the wall right here. Just pay attention to those guards that are walking around. Let that guard get out of there. And yeah, people still think that you have to leave the island a particular way, like whatever way that you select in the uh, loadout screen or whatever. And you don't have to. You can leave the island any way you want. I still get people saying, oh, I didn't know you could leave that way. So yeah, just pay attention to, to my Cayo Perico heist guides that I have. They'll get you right. All right. Get out of here. Going to go take out this guard by the motorcycle. Going to jump on that. And we're, we're out of here, man. Take a hard left. Going to drive right here by the, uh, the helicopter. And I just take my little route off the side of the island and we swim out of here. No problem. Careful not to hit that tree. Get a little X Games in there. Yeah. There we go. Every now and again, you you make you might lose a little bit of money, you know, jumping into the water right there. I lost like fifteen hundred bucks. No big deal. 
small price to pay for a little bit of flair. Yeah. All right, go in between the uh, landmines and swim out towards the uh, the whale skeleton. And bam, that's it, baby. All right, so we're going to pull in back into the city, go through the cutscene, deliver the duffel bag, and then uh, check the stats and see where we're at here with this. <laughs> a duffel bag with a duffel bag. All right, get my confirmation. Give me my money. All right, so heist passed, obviously. Run it solo, got the platinum. Potential take, that's ridiculous. No one's ever going to get that. Actual take. 1,672,514, 100% of the, of the cut. Got the Elite Challenge, 8 minutes and 38 seconds, baby. No hacks failed. Full loot bag. 1,772,514. Good money, right? Come on, talk about it. So there you go. That was my first pink diamond of the GTA 5 Online Expanded and Enhanced Edition. Salute. Take a little Don Julio. There's about a billion limes down that hill. <laughs> Good money, man. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illustrated Rose content in the game. Smash, I mean, must smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace out. Yeah.